Don't you disrespect me, little cuck! Don't you derogate or deride. You're in my world now, not your world. And I got friends on the alt right. Oh, there it is. It's live. Hey, everybody, it's the alt. It's all, This is the alt right show number twelve. Yep. Still retired people. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna. People. Oh, you doing this? No, he's just coming on other channels. No big deal. He's gonna be on shit posting whenever that's gonna be. Yeah, I I, I heard from Tom. It might be on the 29th. ninth. It's, it's been late this. It's been late this month. Like. Yeah, ever since February, it's been late as fuck. Like, uh, I've got another week. 
<laughs> Unless otherwise. All right, so what do you want to talk about? Okay. So you wanted to do another one. So basically, so so far I've been hearing some drama over in the gaming community. Like I hope it was going to stay over there, but apparently the bitch queen of the universe, Lacey Green, brought up some shit and I kind of pertained to it. Oh god, is there anything SJWs don't complain about? Um, it, like it was, it was over basically like a larger YouTuber by the name of like Tabuscus, basically apparently committing sexual assault against several women or against a particular. It was a bunch of other shit. Like I really, I was gonna do my own own video on it because Lacey Green made a dumb video. And basically, she kind of she, like they typically get mad because the not enough rape survivors are believed. Yeah. Wow. Which is, which, which I'm thinking, but it's not surprising, dude. Like, I do think people say, you think, well, you're just a rape apologist. It's, it's no, because the, the, a serious crime like rape requires an, a lot of evidence to prove the crime. Yeah, exactly. False rape claims that cure a lot of times. And there's a bunch of innocent dudes who go to jail for no reason, for no reason. And then their lives get ruined all because of a false claim. That's happened. If we just did what Lacey wanted them to do, guess what would happen? We'd have more, the, the, we'd have more people in prison over rape than probably cannabis yeah i don't get this i mean feminist logic uh, <laughs> this is pretty much their logic here um, um false rape claims don't matter because real rape occurs and this, and i think even like this idiot even tried to say like the, the claims were super low like false actual reports. you're saying they all happen or they never get because if they don't have enough evidence it's not gonna no one's gonna take you seriously exactly it's, it's literally utter idiocy, but my phone's charging, so I'm not going to do any drops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, th the thing is, um, so you know how you're just bringing up the gaming industry and stuff like that? Yeah. yeah don't usually feminists and other SJWs usually accuse you of being a misogynist if you play GTA 5 or something like that? Uh, well, oh, oh, yeah. GTA 5 and... Like Dead or Alive Extreme Three or something like that. There's a bunch of games like that that are like very you say hi you can say hypersexualized that they get offended over. What the hell? Yeah, Which I understand. I know a lot of people like with the church I go to because of course we're very kind of you could just say we're a bunch of religious fundamentalist Bible thumping intolerant bigots. Yeah, <laughs> according to the left, so that's why I go with it. And basically, over there, we wouldn't. We no one in no one like in the church I went to. No one would really tolerate any of that kind of crap either. But the choice is, we don't buy the game. Yeah, exactly. Just don't buy the game. They'll ruin just, it for others who don't. We just we just play. avoid the. We're like, we don't. We're just going to avoid the game. We're not going to get it shut down. Like, why? It's not worth our time. Shut it down. In reality, it's pe people like our like myself. We have more other. We have other things to worry about more than just games. You yeah, have to exactly. worry about the generates cut destroying civilization. Yeah. See. And another thing I also wanted to talk to you about, so, so, so you and I, we may not be on the same, uh, uh, like agree with uh, on the same views, but I also want to talk about why there's so many libertarian cucks. See, oh. the, the reason why there are so many cuck libertarians or cuck libertarians is because, see, it, it, they're just a bunch of fucking liberals, demo, democratic sissies who realized that the democratic party was just going to fail anyway. So then they joined the libertarian party. Uh, so they just went, oh, we're going to be, oh, I'm a libertarian now, yet you're the biggest fag on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the whole idea that we're socially liberal. Nope, nope, shut up. No, shut up. You're a fag. <laughs> yup, you're a cuck. I was arguing with a leftist like on DeviantArt, like it's so cringeworthy. <laughs> What, 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 what happened? Apparently, like he was, he said that Netanyahu is basically the Hitler of the modern century. Nah, dude, dude. Typical oh, communist. Well, it's, like, it's a typical leftist. Like he had a bunch of like, oh, dial about dialectical materialism. Like you people, people use that shit to sound smart. It really makes you look like a huge moron. It makes you dialectics is garbage. The, the why do Nazis hate or anti-Israel? Why do they hate I, Netanyahu? Because he's a Jew. Exactly. And that's the funny thing, which I might post this like on my thing addressing that argument. Is that the scene? The th the theory thing is, I guarantee you, this guy supports Hamas, which they're anti-Semitic. Dude, Hamas and, hate the Hamas and Hezbollah and were both um Palestinians who were in the SS, or or like the Muslim Brotherhood was created. I think was by some dudes or something like that. Yeah, yeah who were of the SS. I'm like, well, so you're basically supporting a bunch of anti-Semites, and yet you're saying yeah, that's why I like to say they come out of the closet, they come out of the constant, they come out of the camp or something.
Yeah, man, all these fucking homos, fucking faggots. <laughs> oh, that was was it that one drop had to the daily shit? Like, they're all a bunch of fucking homos. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it's it, it's like what they do with the Palestinians. They just cry rivers of fucking tears. Like, yeah, they cry. Like this guy was crying me a river, and I'm like, you're in, all. This whole thing is nonsense. I know I'm gonna get leftists in the comments spamming like, oh, you're just a Zionist shill or something. Fuck off. Get off my channel if you're not if you can't handle it. <laughs> Yeah, see, here's the thing. I am critical of Israel, and and you could probably say even critical of, depending, I'm not anti-Semitic or anything like that, but I am pretty critical of some Jews, to be honest. But th that's mainly people like George Soros, Goldman Sachs, and pretty much our elites. But I don't hate them because they're Jews. I hate them because they're our, our elites. And they're oh, because they're elites. Yeah, that's kind of how I am with a lot of people. So I don't hate them because they're Jewish. I hate them for a different reason. Yeah, exactly. But people think, oh, you hate this. Oh, he's a Jew. It's like, I don't. Okay, George Soros being a Jew does not mean anything. Dude, George Soros and I think even the Rothschilds all were, were all Nazi collaborators. And they've been exploiting the Holocaust for no reason, even though they helped collaborate with the Nazis. Well, of course they're going to exploit the Holocaust. They basically try to, to, try to get, get, make people have white guilt. Yeah, and I'm not a Holocaust denier by no means at all. But what I'm saying is that you have people who exploit this tragedy to basically make money and to basically say that everything, anything on the right wing that's traditional is bad and racist somehow. Yeah, and the thing is, like, you also get these like these groups, the Anti Defamation League, which I call the a Jewish supremacist group. But see, here's the thing. The Anti Defamation League does not give a fuck about Jewish people. They have done nothing. They have actually. You know what Mark Zuckerberg's done like to Israel pages. He's actually shut down pro is like Israel pro Israel page. I think even a couple anti Palestine pages. So he's pretty in bed with these kind of people. Yeah, it's the the anti defamation league doesn't give a fuck about Jews, even even though like. And here's another thing about the ADL, which is a hip hop. Really, just all they care about is Dindus who didn't do nothing. <laughs> See, the thing is. Whenever, like, let's say a national socialist or any other group says something racist or anti-Semitic, they just they they always write them down on the hate list. But the minute um you have that Jewish rabbi who once said that that the Gentiles must be exterminated and must be enslaved, the Anti-Defamation League said nothing about it. Wow, I'm gonna I'm gonna read you this stupid comment. Dialectical materialism is the most advanced philosophy. Idealism and metaphysics are outdated. Wow. What logic? If you are a communist and you understand more of it, well, what is what do you think of dialectical materialism? It's, a bu it's just a bunch of bullshit. Like it's materialism is a bunch of like Marxists. They say, "Well, oh, you fascists fetishize the nation, yet you'll fetishize materialism and economics and your own theories, and yet you'll tell us what we worship." And it's you worship your own stuff. It's more of like, and they love to contradict themselves when they debate when they go against fascists. They love to do this. You should, start, you should start setting up McCarthyist trials on De DeviantArt. McCarthyist trials like getting rid of... <laughs> no, well, we've done that on Facebook a couple times in most of our in, in the alt-right groups and this um Catholic group that I'm in, we just started doing these McCarthyist trials where we would just kick out anyone who, who's who's a Bernie Sanders supporter, a communist piece of shit or anything like that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, is this like on Google? <laughs> Well, this was on Facebook. Oh, you're part of like a Catholic group, okay? Yeah. Your look, uh, Protestant intensifies. <laughs> Protestant intensifies. <laughs> like dun dun dun. Apparently, there's like some freaking dumb bimbos. I do dogs have brains. I was just like, what the actual like? It's like, what is this? Dogs do have brains, but it's just not as smart as ours. Things like this Trisha freaking idiot who has like 200, 200 million, like, like 2 million subscribers and is the biggest moron on the planet. Oh, wow. We're just thinking, how do you have that many? How do you even, how do you even live? <laughs> it's, it's, All right, this is going to be a question for everyone. Do, do black lives matter or do all lives matter? All lives Oh, you're just a, you don't understand institutional racism. Shut up. Yeah, exactly. There's no such thing as institutional racism, unless we were back in Jim Crow, but we're not. Oh, I guarantee you, Swills could come and She, nigga, fucking institutional racism is real, man. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, get out of here, Dindu. Dindu. 
Was it was it like Monroe said, get lynched coon? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, get lynched coon, and he started crying about it. Yeah. That's so that's just wrong on so many levels, but it's kinda of, but you do kinda of, I do but I do have a sense of humor, so I'm like Tch. Yeah. But you gonna do that tell that like some flat comments like get lynch coon just <laughs> Hey, 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 do you think that that the Dindu lives matter should be protesting when Dindus kill other Dindus? Yeah, I get get duh. Black <laughs> lives matter when they kill each other; it's not a problem. But when it happens when Whitey does it, it's automatically bad. Evil Whitey mean she. It's like it's like why don't you, why don't you just go? What happens if another black guy lynches another black guy? Then what are you gonna do? Dude, just like the Black Lives Matter here, they were just crying rivers of fucking tears for a kid who pointed a gun at a at a cop. Oh, the guy's a racist. Eh, shut up. Seriously. I used to hate police brutality a little bit, but after seeing the way left left wing activists behave behave during their riots and seeing how all these thugs are, I I'm starting to like it a little. Oh, if it happens again, it's like the didn't like didn't do lives matter or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's so messed. That's I, I, I'm still like I, I'm still cracking up at that comment, man. Well, there's like, it's like get lynch coon. <laughs> hey, hey w- w- what do you think of Nelson Mandela? Uh, I used to support him, but now I'm kind of like no, or not much so much anymore. Yeah, he, he he's a terrorist. He ran that freaking country into the ground. I heard like a British imperialist. So I was like, what? You support apartheid? <laughs> yeah, here's the I thing. I was a though. leftist when this happened, so of course I hated like imperialists, like with the with the, with the bearing insult. So I was like, "Oh, you support racism? You're evil." Yeah, here's the thing, though. And I called him imperialist over and over and over, and he said all my argument was is that if he if he disagreed with him, he was an imperialist. And I was like, "Yeah, that's kind of true." I was pretty edgy. The, the thing is, though, like the thing about the whole about Nelson Mandela and being against him, normally they'll accuse you of supporting the apartheid, but the thing is. <laughs> It, it, there were many group, conservative groups, like center right groups, that were very moderate, who were against both the apartheid and the communists. But yeah, they think oh, I'm, at, I'm at this freaking point where I'm like, I'm definitely gonna say bring back apartheid at this point. We're getting sick of these this freaking cucks destroying South Africa. Yeah, exactly. There's a ton of black people right now in South Africa wishing for for apartheid to come back. Well, it's probably gonna come back at this rate. Yeah, Tom explained this in one of the alt right hangouts, and a bunch of black people are also hoping that Rhodesia can come back. Oh, Rhodesia, bring Rhodesia back, like please. Yeah, R- Rhodesia was not as racist as um apartheid. Oh, oh, whatever. Some this the stupid. Oh, the guy called. Oh, the the Finnish coon. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, uh, Rhodesia had a black leader who was a prime minister. He was black and. And he was like one of the oh, leaders. Doesn't matter, man. You see, they're still fucking racist. Yep. E- even though, e- even though Robert Mugabe is killing white people, burning their their houses down, and sending them to slaughterhouses, but yet somehow, somehow Rhodesia was racist. Yeah, that somehow they're racist, nigga. She. <laughs> they didn't do nothings. Individually wrapped. My cousin was laughing at that. Cause I did the didn't do. I was like, it's like didn't do nothing's individually wrapped. <laughs> I love how they put. Ma- I like how Louise put Mao and Stalin's face on, it and it's didn't do nothing's. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, my, my communism didn't do nothing. Yeah, but fascists are evil and racist. Yeah. <laughs> they they always seem to contradict themselves every time on that kind of debate, and it's hilarious. Yeah, here's the thing. I leftist memes talked about. Leftist memes talked about this. And another contradiction of the left is where they condemn, condemn like national socialists in them for taking away the private property of the Jews, but yet they want to take away the private property for everyone, including or, Jews. Or, or, the, or, the, or they'll complain that how fascists suppress people, yet they'll literally say we should suppress all who dis, all who oppose communism. Yeah, here's the thing. And here's another thing about Antifa. The thing about Antifa is that you know how the majority of them are ancoms, anarcho-communists. Oh yeah. Who claim that they hate the government, but yet th- they work for the government and they beat oh, up wow. people who aren't who aren't even fascist, just anybody who isn't even a fascist. Wow, that's just that's that's horrible, man. Yep. <laughs> just put a freaking 
Uh, that movement's so disgusting, dude. Like, they should all get helicopter rides. Yeah, it, it's just ethnomasochism. Ethnomasochism. What really, all it really is is that they get helicopter rides. They're just oven that whole freaking movement. Yes. See, the thing is about them is that they they take pleasure in in humiliating and and annihilating their own race. They're that bent on they're that bent on hating whitey that they go they go really far to do that. It's just gross. Yeah, it, it's like the thing is though. This is where I also get a lot of hate as well. But I do support ethnic nationalism because the thing is, the the thing is, you're supposed to be proud of who you are and ethnic nationalism. Whether it's race and stuff, it's where it's your heritage. It's where you come from. If you're against that, you really do hate yourself. Freaking self-loathing fat clown, little Twinkie Porky eating. Yeah, it's the, I think white guilt is disgusting. Doesn't white guilt oh, white you off? White guilt's freaking, white guilt's bullcrap, dude. It's just a bunch of people going, whitey's evil, you should feel sorry for yourself. No, shut up. Yeah, shut up, you little cuck. You little cuck, but it's like, oh, hey, you little Twinkie eating fat eating motherfucker, whatever that was. Oh, yeah, remember that fatty fat Twinkie eating porky pig looking motherfucker? He's still at it. <laughs> So, and, and here's the thing, though. You know how many times, like, they show, like, in Hollywood and all these other places, they always like to show that evil whitey, she is, like, the most evil slave owner? Oh, like, oh white man's bad man, she. Well, well, why don't they put any ethnic group? Because there was a lot of races that, that also participated in the slave trade. There was um, Jews, there were Arabs, there were other Africans. There was pretty much everyone who participated in the slave trade. Yeah, but apparently it's only whitey who did it. Yep. What a bunch of freaking nonsense. Even even the white people were, were slaves as well. Oh, the Irish, yeah. And plus, I heard that there were... And Africans. the Chinese. And like Chinese who were brought over from China. Yeah, it didn't... Um, I forgot who it was, but I think it was something in the Barbaries or something like that that owned white slaves. Oh, the Barbary pirates. Oh, those mother... I Those people deserve what... Have, yeah. They had what they had coming to them. They got blown to pieces. <laughs> yeah. Now it's basically we, the Barbary pirates take Americans. We go and destroy them. Now it's one of the Muslim countries. Say, we apologize. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. Back in our day, we didn't give any. Back in the old days, we we didn't give any um invaders any benefits. We killed them off and took them out. That's what the Jews are doing. <laughs> taking out they're basically they're crushing the invaders pretty hard and the world's like oh look at they didn't do nothing wrong i i think white nationalists and jewish nationalists like the zionists should should be allies when it comes down to it the left hate the both of them and want them to be completely annihilated the other one's just well, the left the lefties are just in the closet about it yeah exactly they jerk off to <laughs> they j they jerk off to the annihilation of their own race. Wow, because they just hate themselves so much. Yeah. Uncuck the right. I I do think that the right does need to be uncucked. That means I mean that means yeah that means you too, Luis, get uncucked. <laughs> yeah, we have a a bunch of rightists claiming that Putin is the enemy, even though Putin is actually an ally. Putin's better than freaking Clinton. Like, we just continue what we're doing. Yeah, we're going to die. Yeah, see, the thing about Putin is that even though I don't agree with everything he does, the thing is, at least he's fighting ISIS and he's fighting our enemies. He's basically fighting our enemies. And just remember, it's the same conservative rightists like the neocons, like George Bush, who also overthrew George Saddam Hussein. Who, who overthrew um, Saddam Hussein. And now because of that, Look at what happened with ISIS. And if Saddam was alive right now, Iran wouldn't have those nuclear weapons. Oh, he probably would be like, you better... You probably would be threatening everybody, though. <laughs> yeah, and, and right now, Iraq would probably be, like, fucking Iran up. I'd probably, I'd probably, I'd be like, I'd probably support that. I'd be like, and then we would. also have um, a, a leftists who... We already know that they are evil bastards. We already know that, but then... You also have the conservative rightists who also want the overthrow of Assad. Now, Assad oh, may be an oh, asshole. The rise, a lot of oh, the, oh, oh, the rise of the conservative traitors. <laughs> yeah. Now, I may not agree with Assad because Assad is an Iran supporter. But however, 
he shouldn't be taken out because he's keeping Syria stable. Remember, we already know what happened when we threw out a Ba'athist leader. Iraq, Iraq, Libya, it's, it's don't even start. Oh, yeah, and then we also have Gaddafi. Oh, let's talk, let's, let's just talk about the slippery slope fallacy real quick. How apparently, that's such a fallacy. All right. Yeah, you remember that post I sent to you as I put it on my Facebook page where it was all, pedophile doesn't equal child molester. I was like, what? I saw it, I was like, what oh, yeah. is Did it? You also see that post from Salone.com where it, it, this is a left-wing progressive page where, where they said where they said the right wing is vile and evil for trying to destroy pedophilia and that they are not the monsters. It's the right wing bigots that are monsters. Wow. Slippery soap is such a fallacy, right? Apparently, according to most regressives. And even some people within our circles. Referring to one of you in particular. <laughs> you cannot be named. Yeah, but, but see, see, here's the thing. Um, wh wh where do you think this is? This all stems from. Oh, it starts with some kind of sexual perversion and promiscuity among men and women. Then it spreads out. Yep, and then the next thing you know, it ends up turning into oh, love is love. Love is is you do whatever you want, and then the next thing you know, or or, 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 or basically some freaking disgusting pervert saying oh i should be able to fuck my daughter and have a kid and keep it no go to prison go to prison oh, dude, that's nasty Did you see the article i said the article other article that apparently was about the dad and daughter crap i was like yeah that's no set the child up for adoption and both of you go to freaking one of you freaking go get some freaking mental help and get re-educated the other goes to freaking the other one goes to prison and yeah here's the thing though or go to or go to or go to a labor camp <laughs> I can't yeah, say correct, that's a leftist thing. So I have to say, go to a labor camp. Yeah, so go, what about you go to a concentration camp? There you go. Yeah. So Some right trains. now, Syria isn't being as normalized yet, but right now we still have incest that's being normalized. Oh, uh, we, we have tranny acceptance still too. They're basically trying to push both at the same time. Oh yeah. Can we also talk about the whole um, transgender thing? Oh, that delusional crap. Where it's I identify as a woman, yet literally has. Has two has, has a brat verse and butterballs. Yeah, so here's the thing: most cuck rightists and most um regressive leftists, they tend to defend that kind of crap because yeah, the, you yeah. know political correctness. They're afraid of hurting its hurting the transgender's feelings. But see, here's the thing: many of them commit suicide even after the surgery. So you might think, oh, giving them the surgery will help heal them. Many of them kill themselves because they they, they don't. They're, 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 they're like they're like. They're like, what the fuck? Who, who the fuck wants to live like this? Like, what am I? Oh, yeah, but that's usually before they get the sex change operations. That's when they're, like, confused about what they are. Yeah, and afterwards, they're, they're still like, what am I? And there's, there's, there's still times where it happens, and they're still like, what am I? And then there are times where, like, after getting the sex change operations, they, they, they feel bad that they can't go back to who they were, so they kill themselves. Yeah, so much for tolerance and love. Yep, it's like... Telling a person who has like that gender dysphoria issues that that, that they should incur be encouraged in that life lifestyle will be like telling an alcoholic person that they that they need to keep drinking. Oh, well, it's, it's literally a mental disorder, and like it, we should we should really need to stop this nonsense. It, it's like telling a person with schizophrenia that the voices in their head are real. Oh yeah, it's I think basically Rocky Mystery did the best video about it, so I'm gonna kind of leave it. I might I'll link that in the description. For sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, and I like Black Pigeon Speaks did a good one too. There's a couple of good channels that did some stuff on this transgender thing, which I'll link. Yeah. Also, if you guys are watching this, I'm gonna be linking a page I w I wanted to promote. They've been sharing my memes called arrest. Uh, not arrest all socialists, but socialism is a lie. I'll put it in the description. Uh, oh, on your channel. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, but anyway, back to the topic we were talking about. Yeah, they're like, who wants to live like that? Yeah, it's basically there's so, so like it's natural like dude trannies usually in initiate like the natural disgust reflex like you see a dude in a dress you don't want to ask him out you just want to get away from him exactly it's like if i see a dude dressed like a woman i'm not i'm just gonna be like oh i'm just gonna be like no no you're not fooling me <laughs> <either." laughs> yeah it, it, it kind of like what you said earlier that, that many of them are ju ju just like who the fuck wants to live like that? Like, what am I? I said that on shit posting one, which got deleted. Like, that's so unfortunate. Cause it was that was literally the best. Yep, exactly. And then on top of that, we also have um nowadays. And here's another part of the slippery slope. 
So you know how there's transgender? Now we have transracialism, transhumanism. Well, it's, it's not really even just now transgender. It's just basically a bunch of people making a bunch of delusional nonsense. So so Delta, uh, I identify as a as a black white dragon lizard li lizard from outer space. No, you're you're still a man. I don't I don't care. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. See how stupid that is. Like no, I'm sorry. I don't care. <laughs> or it's basically when delusion trumps reality, or it's when the lunatics take over the insane asylum. Insanity is just about is bound to just um break out. Yep. And unfortunately, we have cultural Marxists. And, and yeah, let me guess. All the left goes. That's just the, that's just the right wing conspiracy theory. Oh God, dude, we've we've all already been over this. Lefties, Cult uh, cultural just... Marxism is not a conspiracy. And, and here's another argument that they like to say. They say that Marxism is also about revolution. But see, if you watch Yuri Bezmenov, who was a who was an ex KGB agent, he himself said that. Communism is not always going to happen just through guerrilla warfare, blowing up bridges, killing, killing capitalists, right wingers, or anything like that. It would also be through demoralization, destabilization. Oh, subverting the, oh, subverting the values of. Exactly. Oh, but that's just a conspiracy theory. Yeah, I, I, I so believe that. Can, nice job, nice try. You failed. I know there's gonna be one guy that's gonna go. This is this was cringeworthy. You don't know. You don't understand Marxism and. Da, 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 da. The same guy who said that your capitalism is not imperialism was cringeworthy. Dude, dude, the thing is though, the, the, the thing is though, is like you get these idiots saying stuff like, "Oh no, that's uh, cultural Marxism is not a thing," but it's because they depend mostly on Karl Marx said this. Communism is not always about Karl Marx saying this or Karl Marx saying that. It really isn't. It, 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 it's just dogma. It's literally, it's literally become a religion for these people. Yeah, it has. You, you, you watch. They're going to start using the hammer and sickle as a crucifix. Oh, guarantee. Just to say, like, oh, this poor guy didn't do nothing wrong. Shit, nigga. <laughs> Here's another hypocrisy, now that you brought that up. About oh, the glaring contradictions of the left. It, it, see, here's another thing. So you know how a lot of them like to b bitch that capitalism is imperialism and stuff like that. Uh, when one of the goals of communism is literally to um it, it, to invade other countries and spread communism. What yeah, but that? I've seen that even like in our nation states game, you see that and like they go and they try to say, oh, that's that's just liberation. No, yeah, we're the hoping the proletariat. No, you're saying you represent the entire work, the world, the whole, all the workers of the world, and saying you represent what they want. No, you don't. You have no I freaking idea. You're an it's a bunch of delusional garbage. Even in Europe, you could see proof that 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 communists don't care about the working class. They 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 keep saying open borders and stuff like that, but they don't realize that that open border stuff it essentially destroys the working class, driving down their wages. Yeah, rip the working class. Then I guess. So, so basically, they're they're going against the working class by doing that, even though they claim to be advocates of it. Yeah, they're hypocrites, Vic, for real. I'm gonna get a bunch of I know in the comments saying like a bunch of stupid crap as usual. Yeah, and then you have the 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 EU, which is run by cucks and leftists. You have a bunch of them like opening up the borders to the refugees, Re refugees, oh, the refugees. If you like the column. Yep, and and many conservatives also support the EU, which is undemocratic because really a lot of people have voted it out and they still have refused to leave Europe. Oh, with Britain. Yeah, and, and see, even ISIS was was was, cry, was mourning because they see that if that if um say like the British secede from the EU, that that automat that that means that they are no longer going to be able to bomb their cities. Oh, because it's basically an open door for them to get in. Yep, and see, many conservatives also like this because, like, many times, you know how the conservative right ha have like like have most monopoly mainstream leftists supporting their campaign and most of our elites. All right, George Soros. Exactly, like George Soros. The, the thing is, though. If you flood the the country with with open borders, it's gonna come with low wages, of course, and that's gonna lead to like the the leaders having mass profits. It's gonna destroy the competitive market. Although you're against it, but 
still through that that's through our perspective through your perspective it's probably different this is infuriating dude like i go through my youtube and all i see is that, and i saw first of all i looked up like this whole i like, distinct from the gaming community and then when i found the lacy green peter i was like yes i was thinking, like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> freaking got our grubby hands on this now this is not like yeah now guess what the political community has to hear about this <laughs> not our freaking problem man this is another community's issue not ours and yet we're getting drug into it because lacy green you need to listen and believe Fuck you. Yeah, stupid Lacey Green. Oh, she's an idiot. She gets a free helicopter ride. Yeah. Hey, um, so so what do you think of the patriarchy? The patriarchy? Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up, yep. I can't I can't read Spanish. I was like, you remember that Spanish post I sent to you? It was a the Viva Falange de los J J O N Hess or whatever. It's like, yeah, those guys were pretty cool. Oh, by the way, did you Viva Franco and Viva? I got a good one. Viva Franco and Viva Patriarchy. Viva <laughs> España. <laughs> Although I don't support like Franco one hundred percent, I have to give him a lot of credit though, not only for dealing with leftists, but also, I mean, he 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 beat the hell out of all the leftists, and on top of that, he saved the Catholic Church. Oh, if you're a Catholic, so of course you're gonna like kind of have a. He protected yeah. the the church in Spain in that case. Yeah, because around that time, communists. Oh, the left were like massacring him like crazy. Like, I'm not a supporter of the ch the Catholic Church, you know that. But I'm like, I don't, I don't support the killing of them. Though. That's just, that's that's messed up, man. Yeah, exactly. And then, and finally, the left got what they deserve. All the anarchists, all the communists, and all the feminists, and the, the ultra left were just. They yeah, well, they got killed, and guess what happened to the feminists? Back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. They they back to the kitchen. <laughs> feminist. Yeah. Oh yeah. And on top of that, the thing is, you know, Franco rescued a ton of Jews from from the Holocaust. Oh yeah, I think I've heard you. You brought this up a couple times. And the thing yeah, back on the feminists, though, too, when it came to actually rape, they actually had some. They actually like they actually even had laws that prevented women from even leaving family. Like they really tried to keep the family like in place. Oh yeah, that's good. But it, it, right now we are also seeing the collapse of the nuclear family. Yeah, sure. As at this point, we're going to have to do a Franco and make a bunch of laws. You really don't got a choice. It's falling apart so quickly that you can't force your shut up. At this point, we kind of have to. Yeah. We're running out of options here, and it's at this point, I'm like. Yeah. Put... Oh yeah, the eight glaring contradictions of the left. One of the contradictions was. The family, the um, the family is a patriarchal institution and outdated, and, and it's evil except when gays want to have one. Oh yeah, that's basically. Where is it? The you said it was like the guy where it's all family, social, patriarchal content. It's like, like a fag, and he's like all degenerate. And it's like, oh, born that way, fit as a fiddle. I was like, yeah, this is totally not contrary. Yeah, exactly. It's like they, they try to normalize things that aren't even normal, but they try to like. Like try to like destroy anything that is normal. It's weird contradiction. Where, where do you think the leftist hatred of the family comes from? Uh, I would have to assume it came to like the Friedrich Engels and like Marx. It came from the fact that children were exploited during the industrial times. Yeah, it, it also That's comes standard. from. I also think another reason why is because you know how left lefties gonna left. You know how yeah. they are. They always like hate anything that, that they don't have like they hate the rich because they're not rich they hate they hate all, well oh they want, we, we're gonna redistribute the wealth we want equality yeah something that's just not gonna happen economically yeah, sure. it's, so the thing is i also feel like sometimes most of these people don't even have a family and that's the reason why they they have such a strong hatred for the family yeah that's true Oh, hold on. L l let me go over another a glaring contradiction of the left. Let me find the blog. So, and, and you can also link it below the description once I send it to you. Rocky Mystery made this blog. Oh, okay. Well, that's why he probably gets all the stuff on transgenderism and crap. That's yeah. Sure. Gender is a, is a social construct, except when you have the brain of the wrong sex. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a thing.
Yeah, see, the thing is, they say that gender doesn't exist. It's just a social construct. I'm when like, I've heard like, people, there, there's even these idiots like Lacey Green denying like biological sex even exists now. Wow. They're coming out and just denying all this crap. And they'll say, like, I'm delusional because I have a certain faith or I don't believe in Darwinism. Therefore, I'm delusional. Yet they literally say that gender doesn't, that biological sex doesn't exist. I'm like, Delta, just remember, if you, if you ever feel stupid, just remember that these people think that there's six million genders. Oh, yeah, those people. They're, they're, they're morons. And they have all this make-believe that, well, we, we need more genders for, for a bunch of stupid crap. I'm somewhat of a gender realist. Well, I am a full-on gender realist. And to oh, an extent, is that going to become a thing now, gender realism? Yeah. It's going to be because of all these retards at this point. Yeah, it, it gender is a social construct, except when you have the the brain of the wrong sex. It, it's true. Like most radical feminists, all tend to like say that gender isn't real. Gender is just a social construct. But yet, they support transgenders when they identify as a female. So it's like either either you identify, either you're born in the wrong body, or or is, that doesn't exist. That's just another dilemma. And then race doesn't exist, yeah, that's true. exist uh, um, except when you're white. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Leftists decry any concept of, of race. This is demonstrably false. And like sex, leftists refuse to acknowledge any differences beyond external appearance. Of course, we're all human at the end of the day, except when leftists criticize white people who are apparently really privileged and stuff. Yeah, Even it's, yeah they, literally women and bindus are privileged. <laughs> race social construct argument could be referred to as white privilege by the left who see whiteness as a class that effectively needs to be completely eradicated i guess that being a zionist kike jew is now a class too that should be destroyed <laughs> therefore white people need to shut up at all times weirdly enough you can't simple simply reject your whiteness move along you have to live your whole life repenting for your perceived sins, even though white countries are the most racially tolerant in the world, to the point that they're literally committing cultural and racial suicide. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's pretty idiot. true. Fucking idiot. I, these people are so retarded. Yeah, and the feminists... You can't even say them at this point. Feminists stand up for women, except when Muslim men rape them. Oh, yeah, they just they go totally, that's racist. How dare you question the, the refugees who didn't do nothing. Yeah, I, I once saw an interview. I have to find this soon so I can show everyone. A radical feminist once said th that that it's not rape because he's Muslim and in the Quran. And and if you and if you call it out, you're a bigot because the Quran says that you're supposed to have a ton of women. Wow. So, so you can see she does this. So you can see feminists do not care for women's rights either. They're just a bunch of anti-white, anti-male bitches. Anti-white, anti-male, anti-Christian retards. Yep. And w w look at Rotherham. Remember the whole Rotherham when there was a bunch of Muslim grooming gangs, um, the pedophiles who were raping oh. a innocent white, white British girls? The left completely censored everybody. And no, I'm not just going to blame the left. I'm also going to blame the conservative right for doing this as well. Oh, those fat clowns. Like, the, the stupid Tories who have center-left views. But, but oh, yeah, Tories are a bunch of cuckolds. They really need to get wiped out. Exactly, and and they did their best to try and censor people, even the SJWs and campuses, and the and the entire leftist media of Britain just try to shut everything down so nobody could know about this. And feminists went as far as calling anybody an Islamophobe. They even arrested some of the girls' parents ju just for calling it out, and, and they wow. were called racist. So as you can see, leftism is the biggest mental disorder on this planet. Yeah, dude, literally these leftists are literally rape apologists at this point by their own logic. Yeah, here's the thing, though. Ed, remember when Merkel blamed the women for getting raped? She said that they were provoking the men by the rape that were raped. Oh, yeah, and they, they'll literally say, like, oh, what was she wearing is so wrong, and how dare you say that, except when it's a Muslim. If a right-winger said something like that leftists will be ranting about it for fucking years i know but yet when but the minute it happens to yeah and, and the thing is sweden is also a feminist capital but it's also oh. the rape capital and usually all the rapes are being you, you, done you, by you, you said the rape you, you said it was the rape capital of europe oh, it is 
Oh, it, the reason it, why they, they say a lot of rapes that are reported. There's more support, and it's probably because there's a listen and believe. If you question the narrative that somebody was raped, you're gonna go to jail. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, though. In Sweden, you know how they're the feminist capital of the world, and it's and it's also the rape the, the rape capital of Europe. And according to them, white white privilege can't override the right the rights of Muslim rapists. Wow, that is just sad. Yeah. So you see, feminists all they preach is white white genocide and male genocide. They do not care about women at all. We must spill the blood of the male and white devils. We must spill the blood of the white male devils. Your time has come. I try to do an impression of me, people go him. I try to do an impression of me, filthy go him. Literally just a bunch of... And, and then we, we advocate rights for all, except for white cis abled men. Yeah, they're just a bunch of ableist scum. I've heard that freaking ableist crap. Like That crap's retarded. It's dumb. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, do you think we could also talk about the leftist war on beauty? Rocky Mystery made uh, a video about this. Oh, apparently we're like fat acceptance. Yeah, and we that see that it. That crap is so retarded at this point. Who freaking cares? It's all a bunch of like degenerate just... Be, you, be proud of who you are, except if you're male. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I feel like there's a lot of things that could come from this. Either they're trying to make le women less desirable so you know what could happen. Oh, feminine, so they can destroy the males, the cishet male. Yep, exactly. And then on top of that, they're all, it's like the whole thing of fat acceptance. You know for a fact you're not going to – you know for a fact, Delta, are you going to fuck a fat chick? Oh, no, I wouldn't. Exactly. We're supposed to be promoting people to be healthy, not promoting them to be unhealthy and saying, oh, you're everybody's beautiful on the inside. Oh, that freaking crap. Or it's basically there's all different kinds of beauty. It literally sounds like a walking tumor and it's like gross. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's it's not going to be fat, but it's not going to be too anorexic either. Oh, like, oh, you should. Oh, these people are forced to be anorexic because of your freaking crap. Yeah, exactly. Like they they put this all over our media, all over the advertisements where they put women who are so skinny, and it's. I mean, I don't think that that's attractive at all. And then usually little girls tend tend to see that, call themselves fat, and then start starving themselves to look like that. Oh, so I can be beautiful. Yep. See, so you see how the leftists have a war on beauty because this all stems from that leftist pro-choice liberal bullshit, which is, oh, except. Accept anyone for who they are. Accept anyone for who they are. That you're born this way, and you can't question the LG. They didn't do nothing. They're just so oppressed by evil Christian right wing bigots. And it's like, shut up. <laughs> just like, shut your fat mouth, you Twinkie, you motherfuckers. Seriously, just just go just go to the gym. Go to the gym. Stop being a clown on crack. <laughs> Yeah, we stand up for the poor, except when we need to print money. Yeah, that is true. Every time in history, like when these socialist tards, especially Allende and all these other people have printed... Well, Allende was democratically elected, and they have no other argument. You're just like, hey... And then whenever like any of these like socialist leaders printed out money, it always opened up the gap between the rich and the poor. And it never like stopped it. It opened... It made it bigger... Oh, we need to get rid of wealth gaps because people owning more than somebody is wrong. We need to have everyone is equal and all this redistribution. F fuck your redistribution. It's, it's it's dumb. It's not. It doesn't work. Yep. It's like, dude. Even even when like someone like a fascist recognizes you can't have a classless society, then you know something's wrong with you. Oh yeah, right right here. This is the part I want to read. The family is an outdated patriarchal institution, except when gay people want one. <laughs> Yeah, that's literally what it is. It's a Fa family is a terrible thing, according to the left anyway, or at least it was before gay people wanted to get involved. Before that, it was an outdated patriarchal institution that oppressed women and children. You can see how, how much the left have always hated the, the family in myriad of places, from Chapter 2 of the Communist Manifesto to the 1971 Gay Liberation Front Manifesto. You could also hear Kennedy take gay marriage by Masha Jessen, who admits that the true aim of gay marriage is to destroy marriage and redefine the family. Since society is more nihilistic than ever, many people just don't care about, about this. 
because they're or they, or they say you're just an evil Christian bigot who hates gay people. Exactly. It's just a bunch of like retarded people at this point. Yep. So at this point, <laughs> re- reinitiate patriarchy. You want to cry about patriarchy? We'll give it. It's like us on the us on the us who are third position is we'll give you a patriarchy to complain about. <laughs> we believe in freedom of, in free speech, except when you disagree with us. Oh yeah, they complain about you fans just don't like freedom. Yeah, we'll literally have us killed or thrown in a gulag, and I'm like, yeah, yeah and, you and love is, freedom so much. Sure, yeah, shut and up. And the thing is, half the time they don't even go after a fascist or anyone else. Half the time they go after. People like me or, or other moderate right wingers, but even cucks get killed in a, in a communist regime. Everyone gets killed who isn't a Marxist at that point. Yeah, and here's the thing though: many of <laughs> I've heard many conservatives in um in England in the UK make our conservatives look far right. Wow, because they're so left wing, like liberal. It, it, here's many of the Tories in in um in in Britain, like the Tory parties, they all have center left views. She. <laughs> yeah, David Cameron is another cuck. You don't worship Pinochet? What a cuck! What a cuck! Oh yeah, so, so, did you ever hear about that British soldier, the one that was decapitated in, in the streets of Britain by those um, Somalian Muslims? Oh, what happened? What else? Yes. Yeah, so David Cameron and the other leftist me- and the leftist media in general try to have it blocked, so so nobody can know about this because they were afraid That's of racist Islamophobia. Oh, get out, man! It's I'm really getting sick and tired of this this cover up and denial about. I was I was arguing with the guys, the same guy, and he basically said the whole Adam War never happened. Wow. Yeah, people are that stupid. Yep. They're so stupid. They say whole lot more yet it happened. Yet they believe in the Gaza and Hala hoax. Yeah, according to them, the, the, the Gaza Holocaust is happening. Nazis are evil because they deny the Holocaust, but yet they deny all crimes done by themselves. <laughs> yeah, it's all propaganda, or that's Zionist propaganda. <laughs> it's all. I, I brought this up in my video in defense of Augusto Pinochet. I said this is basically what they say. It's right-wing bourgeois capitalist Zionist Nazi fascist right-wing right-wing prop- propaganda. Yeah, they just deny it and they go on their own merry business. Or it's Western propaganda, therefore dismissed. Yeah, exactly. It, it, that's the reason why I I don't argue with leftists. Why I block them? I block them because they just ignore facts and ignore recorded history, and because I lack a helicopter to throw them out of. <laughs> oh, Christopher Cantwell. <laughs> yeah. I just I try not to reason with them at this point because you can't reason with them. Yeah, you, you just remember you can't reason with the unreasonable. I don't even argue with them. Even like in our our little game we do, I don't even try arguing because I know they're not gonna listen. Yeah. I'll say they're full of shit. Oh, or, or you're just a right winger. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's literally what they do. They just dismiss anything as as some form of propaganda. It's at that point. It's just that's what they do. They're not gonna listen to you. They don't even care. But apparently, they care about minorities. Sure. Oh no! If if minority if minorities disagree with them, oh forget about that. How dare you think for yourself? You must be left wing. How dare you think for yourself, filthy goyim? Basically, but you and I have got a tats probably for that. Yeah, well, Nero got it really bad too. They're like, but 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 you're but you're LGBT. You should support these people. I'm like, wow. That's like a no true Scotsman fallacy. It is. It's just it's that's just dumb. It, it, it's the thing. The, the thing is, this is where I also get mad too when I see that there's LGBT leftists. See, I I don't think like I I'm not against gays or anything like that. I mean, you might have a different view, but I'm not completely against them. I just don't think that. They should be getting married or anything like that, nor do I think it should be forced onto children. But however, the thing is, why would they support people who support Islamists who behead gays, stone them to death, hang them, send them to jail, to jail just completely annihilate them? Or like in Egypt, how they do that? Well, Egypt, yeah, but, the, the minute, but the minute a Christian says that he doesn't want to gay a gay couple not getting married, intolerant bigot, shut it down. 
I think they they know too much. Christopher the mental isn't. Want to throw them inside Turkic nations and they'll get like trashed. Yeah, dude. Or Muslim countries, any Muslim country doesn't matter if Turkic or Arab, they'll just get trashed. And look, while they support Iran and all these other theocratic nations, uh, Israel is literally the only country where gays are not persecuted. Oh, but they're killing fifty quadrillion Palestinians. Why don't you see that, <laughs> you stupid Zionist? Oh, Allah! It's like another Holocaust. It's like an. It's like another Gaza Holocaust. <laughs> the, the, the Gaza Hala hoax. That's how I make the joke. Like they, they think it's like the next Shoah. Hollywood does a terrible job at trying to demonize Israel. Oh, yeah. It's freaking hilarious. I look at it like, yeah, I don't get how you lefties eat this. It's basically, what is it like? Apparently, that's the degree she said, a, a shit with a bow on it, still a, a pile of shit with a bow on it, still a pile of shit. That's exactly what Pallywood is. Yeah, here's the thing though. The thing about Pallywood is that they had a picture of like of this like Palestinian child with AK 47s in in his mouth, trying to blame it on the Israelis. Even oh though yeah, yet the Israelis... IDF doesn't even use the Kalashnikov. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, those they... actually in Syria were like I think like FSA were like almost killed, like, I think killed a child or something like that. And they once had a picture of a Palestinian kid with, next to an Israeli soldier. They tried to make it seem as the Israeli soldier was gonna kill him. But if you were to look at the original picture, it's a Palestinian kid taking a selfie with an Israeli soldier and smiling. Oh, if they but they made it look like all what a bunch of freaking dicks. Yep. And, and here, here's the, and kind of like what you said, another contradiction of the left is that they support self determination for Black Africans and all these other groups, except for white people and Jews. It's Jews now, since the Jews and since Jews have been able to show their agency, and since they can actually show themselves, then they're, they're like, "Fuck this! We don't. We're sick and tired of being the damn victim. We're gonna make a country, and we're gonna fight back." And then the left completely despise them for that. Yeah, basically, because they need it. Why? You know, I know why the left wants that though. They want the they want the Jews to become communist again because since the Jews back in those days didn't have a nation, they supported communism. Yep, and since. And since the communists were making deals with the Arabs and stuff, that's why the Zionists turned their backs on. Uh, not like the not much, all Jews are anti-communist. <laughs> yeah, but back in like to an extent, what I hate about most Jews, what I hate about most Jews is that many of them tend to vote left. Some of them do, not all, but some. Well, not in Israel. Well, not well, in some Israel. Do. Well, like the Labor Party's a bunch of degenerate cucks. I hate them over the. They're cowards, dude. They're literally going to sell their own country to destruction. <laughs> Seriously, that the Orthodox Jews, like, dude, like, some Orthodox Jews have done some heinous stuff to like gay people, like, gays were pulling over power rally in Jews. So I've heard like Orthodox Jews go up and stabbing them. Oh they shit! Kill them. Like they get mad. Like it's well, in the Torah. Like you actually in the Torah, if you look like in the Old Testament, where basically the common most cited verse in Leviticus against homose against homosexuals is that it, like, basically like technically in Judaism they can be put to death. Wow. Gays could be put to death, but we don't follow that anymore. Well, Christians don't. Yeah. See, see, the thing is, like, there are Jews that are good, that I like, that are very conservative and stuff. But then there are those other ones that are just extremely leftist, stupid, and, and they seem to have hatred towards evil white right-wing Christians because of the Holocaust. Oh, yeah. They're, they're a bunch of retarded idiots, dude. Yeah, but I don't hate them because they're Jewish, but rather because of where they stand on their ideology and most of their beliefs. Yeah, true. Yeah, let me guess. I'm going to get called an anti-Semite. <laughs> I got kicked out of a Zionist group for that. Like, you anti-Semite! You support a Nazi! <laughs> yeah, dude, the, the, the thing about most of those, um, uh, most, like, I'm not saying all Zionists, because there are Zionists who are, extru like, extremely right-wing and stuff they even support self-determination for europeans but then you'll run into those who will just call you an anti-semite if you have one little disagreement with them oh yeah i know some fascists who support israel like was it like lahai which they were a fascist movement back in the 40s they fought against the british yeah they're pretty freaking cool but anyway i'm gonna go all right all right okay, i'm gonna actually gotta cut it off so yeah. any last words Nope, um, just free helicopter rights for leftists, and be sure to... Um, Unpack the right. 
Yep, uncut the right. Anyways, this has been Del 2 and Center Right Federation. See you guys later.